In other news, I heard that Medugu women actually go through a lot because apparently Medugu women do not only do kind mefe for the mother, for the bride, they also do for the group, for the bride's parents as well. So I have a list. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Medugu. This was information I got yesterday from my neighbor. So I'm just going to list out the things that she mentioned that Medugu women do when they are getting married to especially um, Kanuri women. Okay, so they said they will do kind lefe. But gold must be included in it, okay? I don't know how true this is. Please let me know in the comment section. They do kindly fit to for the father and the mother. They do like set of box. Are we box? I don't know whether it's set of box. Are we box? But they will carry clothes too for the father and the mother and um, the aunties and the uncle. Yeah, she said, okay, kind of uncle, kind of aunties, like you carry things for. Her. Then the husband will not pay for cooking to the winter. You know that with incense. The husband will pay for it. The husband will pay for Lele, the husband will pay for Humra, and then the husband will pay for Garanjiki, which is part of like body beautification, skin work, and all of that. The husband will now give a set of bedroom furniture to the bride's parents. I beg my dear people, no one help me. Is this true? If this is true, that means Kai, my dear women, I cut cap for now. I cut cap for now. If this is true, I don't know how true it is. Me nobody cost me. I heard. And I'm asking this question because apparently people are enjoying these conversations about northern marriages, all right? 